Jerks. Hi, JP Fournier of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 10 of 25 Movies to Christmas, where I watch 25 Christmas films I have never seen, one per day leading up to Christmas Day. And what do we get for day 10? Well, yesterday we had the three Dogateers, so today we're getting Vandits. Two lines the hard way. Twas the night before Christmas, and all hell broke loose. A teenage posse, known as the Vandits, attempt to pull a ridiculous heist. Well, seems like a lot of Christmas movies have robberies in them. Um, well, day 10, I'm watching Vandits. Vandits. Well, here we go, another crime-filled Christmas movie. This one is set in small-town Canada with a quartet of misfit dummies robbing a Christmas Eve bingo game in hopes to get a reportedly 25000 that's in the building. When everything doesn't work, the team finds themselves replaying the same time period over and over, a la Groundhog Day-style time looping. The film changes up the overused time loop gimmick by changing the point of view each time the time resets. When something doesn't work out and the timeline switches, the information from that previous timeline is somewhat remembered by one specific individual in the new one. Bandits? Yeah, every, every gang, gang needs, needs a, name. a name. When it flips back again, we see a different point of view from another member of the Bandits. This allows the retreading of the same information to have a different flavor. And this gimmick has its negative and positive effects. The positives is that the story never feels like it is repeating the same scene over and over again. Unlike other looping films, where the only change is the specific character that is aware of the looping. Instead, we get to see other characters delivering the same lines as other characters did in previous loops. What are you doing? It's my V-Walk! What are you doing? It's my V-Walk! How did you know? Those are some seriously fierce moves, guy. Ah, oh, thanks, Sheldon. Yeah. And story elements that were left unanswered earlier now get a backstory with a different explanation. But that being said, the negative is that these story elements don't have explanations the first round, which cause confusion. And this made some of the jokes not work for me, either by me missing the joke while I'm trying to figure out what I'm missing from the information. Whereas I miss some of the humor, trying to think back to whether I missed something earlier. Despite some issues I had with the structure of storyline, the cast is great, bringing out some fun comical performances. From Rob Wells. Say hello, Ramon. Hello, Ramon. <laughs> Enrico Colantoni. Well, all right, Ramon has early bird books for sale. Secret Santa Sputnik cards included, and Christmas fireworks not included. Calm down, calm down, okay. And Jan Arden. <laughs> and while I liked a lot of the direction throughout this film, I did grow tiresome of those Tarantino influences, the slow motion walks, and the attempts to make these losers look cool with specific music. At this point, these choices just felt too cliched and uninteresting to me, even if they were being used to lead up to a joke. Security Santa gets to sleep at work. <laughs> so lucky. Now, because of this structure, it does encourage repeat viewing to make the whole film make sense. However, considering the insane amount of films that I have to watch it month by month and the lack of time I have, I cannot see myself returning to this one anytime soon. Don't get me wrong, it is a good film and there's plenty to enjoy here. It's just not one that will become a holiday tradition. And there you have it, day 10 of 25 movies to Christmas. This time I watched Vandits. What other Christmas crime films do you like? Let us know in the comments section. And if you're curious about other films I am watching this season, do <coughs> please hit the subscribe button for updates daily. 
And for more information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.